Hey there folks, Mark Johnson from Tech Snobs. Going to do a head-to-head -head of the Lumia 920 on AT&T versus the BlackBerry Z10 on AT&T as well. Um, first off, we're just going to jump right into it with the hardware and design. You got two devices very similar in, you know, from an aspect of kind of the form factor, how they kind of feel in the hand. Because um, the size, they're, they're somewhat similar in size. Now, obviously the Lumia is much heavier um, to, compared to the BlackBerry, but it's definitely has similar dimensions and it's not much the Lumia isn't much bigger as far as in width or uh, or height actually they're about the same height exactly uh, than the BlackBerry Z10 now the one thing with the BlackBerry Z10 um, that you do have with it along with being lighter is the screen is a little smaller 4.2 inches you got 4.5 over here um, some other things you you will notice between the difference between the devices is that the the Nokia is definitely, uh, it does have a camera button, a uh, dedicated camera button on the outside, whereas the BlackBerry only has a volume rocker. And it also has a micro USB on the bottom, where on the Z10, everything's on the left-hand side as far as the ports. And it also has uh, an HDMI, uh, mini HDMI port. So those are two things to take notice of. Um, performance and operating system, that's really, you know, where things start to change a whole lot. Now, using the BlackBerry Z10, everything's really gesture-based. Um, you know, there's really no buttons. There's no home button, as you see on the uh, Windows phone. There's no back button. There's no search button. It's literally, everything is gesture. Um, like, even if the phone's off and you swipe up, it turns it back on. You do have a search button there. Um, but everything is swiping up to get into multitasking. On the Windows phone, you hold the back button and that's how you bring up the multitasking window, although you cannot close out any of the apps that way. Whereas on the Z10, when you swipe up, uh, you can close out applications running in the background. So that's definitely one thing to notice there. Performance-wise, they both perform very well. I don't really notice any major difference between the two as far as uh, speed for the most part. We're going to go, let's try a site. Let's see. Um, Try ESPN. ESPN. We're going to do them on both at the same time. One thing I do like about the BlackBerry is you just saw when I typed, when I got the ESPN, a dot com appeared over the M, and if you swiped up, it automatically put dot com in, which is a nice little plus. So I'm going to hit go. Now, actually, I think it's probably a little unfair advantage here because I'm on Wi-Fi with the the uh, Nokia. So let's turn that off. So we're going to be back on ESPN. You can see the screen size. Uh, you can tell the difference there. But let's just click on the link, like um, Beyond the Pain. So that comes up. Scroll down a little bit more. Let's click on Clipper Blog. Seems like the Lumia is a little bit faster at bringing up some of the pages um, than the Z10. But overall, pretty pretty similar, acceptable performance on both. Um, I do tend to like the screen on the Lumia a little bit better. And, um, you know, that's definitely one thing I think that gives it a little bit of a, a edge as far as that. But this is a much heavier device. I you definitely I definitely suggest picking a Lumia up, even if you haven't, just for, to feel how heavy it is. It's definitely a tank, but it, it could take some, you know, drops and so forth. So that's definitely something to be aware of. Camera, um, is de I don't think it's no comparison at all. The Lumia has a, uh, a Carl Zeiss lens in it with a, got some good stabilization and um, it takes really nice pictures, um, even in low light, uh, which is definitely a very, very good uh, feature to have. Not to say that the the BlackBerry doesn't take great, nice pictures, but it's nothing super great. It does have an 8 megapixel camera, but for the most part, it's just, you know, it does the job. I mean, for what most people are going to use it for, it's, it's definitely decent. Um, when it comes to you know, like the software and so forth, uh, I still give the edge over to Lumia because the App Store definitely has a lot more. And then when you have the Nokia collection, you have a lot of apps in the Nokia store um, 
that you have access to. I mean, you see how long I was scrolling. Versus on the BlackBerry, you do you have some featured apps, um, but these are coming from AT and T, and there's really nothing you know so much exclusive to this you know the, this BlackBerry model. Um, I mean, there's some nice apps; they all have to be redone, but there's nothing quite like the experience Nokia gives you with their software package. That's definitely a very good uh, benefit they have. Uh, as far as the network and radio performance, both of these on the same networks, so radios perform very well. I haven't had any issues with call drops or anything like that. So they definitely work well there. They're pretty about even. Um, I do notice, I do tend to notice, um, I tried this in another video. I'm going to try the speed test again on um, this BlackBerry. And I think it's just so much the app itself, it, it's not very, always doesn't seem to be performing that well, but we have speed tests on the, the Windows phone, which just came out not too long ago. So we're going to do a speed test on both of these here in a moment. So this one's ready, so we're going to go ahead and do it now. Yeah, and I'm getting very, very nice speeds at the Lumia. I'm getting over 25 megs down. I'm getting 10 megs up. So based on this test, and I'll do one more, and, and you know, this may not be, you know, I kind of take this with a grain of salt because it's not the same app, and I usually use speed tests for everything. So it could be just the application, and I don't, I'm not even sure where this is getting a server from. So that's kind of hard to say. But the Lumia, AT&T in my area, the Lumia has got, been very good. And I haven't noticed anything off the wall using the BlackBerry Z10. So that's another great thing uh, to notice as well. Overall conclusion, long story short, I still think the Lumia wins out between the both of these. Simple fact, it's $99 uh, for a two-year contract. I've seen it free. And I've also even seen it uh, around $450 with no contract at all. BlackBerry Z10 did just come out. They're trying to revamp things. Um, nice device, but for, at $200 for a two-year contract and at $549 or higher off contract, it's very hard to recommend it over a Lumia 920. And I think, you know, with Microsoft and they got their Xbox Music and you got your Xbox games and so forth, it just gives you a much better value, I feel, especially with the apps. You can go in the Nokia collection and get all kind of crazy, innovative apps. Nokia Music is just endless with the amount of apps you can get compared to the BlackBerry currently. So I think at the end of the day, it really comes down to what you're going to use it for. I will give a, a little bit of edge to the, uh, the Z10 with the keyboard and then some of the innovative features there. But outside of that, uh, Lumia 920 wins hands down. Thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to check out the site for more coverage. Take care.